what in case we want to use uh, DMX to control analog LED strips. How we can do this? Mm -hmm. We have two options. Okay. One is that we will use still SPI output mm -hmm. and to work with uh, analog strips, or we can use just uh, analog output as usual, I would say. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's try it. Sure. I will use this one. So I would like to map and uh, prepare some animations. So I have to connect uh, this controller to the PC. Mm -hmm. So I will see uh, the controller in uh, software and I can set everything correctly. Mm -hmm. I need to connect uh, my controller and uh, we are using uh, standard Ethernet cable in this case with our mm -hmm. small dimmer. Important point, when you have such a dimmer, you have your address for DMX set to zero as a default state. Mm -hmm. So then you have to keep in mind that you are working with, uh, with uh, some DMX uh, uh, equipment. So you have to set then properly DMX address. If you are using just our controller, just these two dimmers, it's very easy. Mm -hmm. But in bigger project, you have to keep in mind how it should be. So let's go to the software. Mm -hmm. So as usual, we have to start with saying what's going on. So we need to set uh, everything in mapping. We're using now the controller, which has address 213. So now, three. Mm -hmm. now we have the, the right one. As you can see, you have uh, two different options. We will use DMX. So Ethernet is for when you are working with uh, uh, digital, digital strips and uh, or with SPI outputs. SPI okay, let's output. put it this way. Yeah, that's better. And when you would like to use uh, DMX output, you are working in DMX. Mm -hmm. And you can see that you are setting here the address for the software device. And then you have to match it with uh, a physical address of the hardware. Mm -hmm. Now, strip, analog strip, which will be somehow set. And uh, we will say that there is one LED. We can explain this uh, later on. Mm -hmm. for, for now, it doesn't matter, I mm -hmm. would say. Okay. As we have uh, two strips, so I will just create second one. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we can put it to the addresses of DMX uh, mm -hmm. in the mapping. I will take the, the strip and I will put it here. It will set the starting uh, address as a one, mm -hmm. but I can easily change it. I can just move this and this first strip can start as a four. So four, five, six mm -hmm. will be RGB for this first strip and second strip easily edit for next three channels. Mm -hmm. I think pretty easy. Can you change the color order? Because that uh, might be a question. Yeah, actually uh, you have uh, here automatically something. Mm -hmm. If you would like to change it, there is a color map here on the, on the bottom. So you can change it very easily mm -hmm. according to the equipment you have, mm -hmm. if, if it's necessary. There are also RGBW uh, analog strips. Mm -hmm. Do you know how you can add? Because right now you have uh, only RGB. RGB. There is a little something next to this color order. A pool of some numbers and digits. And there is one, one of those is W. So with most of these settings here in mapping, you can do drag and drop. So if yeah. you know this, how would you how would you add fourth channel? Hmm. Easy. We have two strips because we are using two dimmers. And we have set up the starting uh, positions, so channels for each strip. Yeah, so we will keep in mind when we will work with hardware, 
uh, we are starting with uh, address 4 mm -hmm. for the first strip mm -hmm. and then 7 for second strip. I think that's it for, for a mapping mm -hmm. and we can create some animation. Uh, we can create uh, some animation for both together. Mm -hmm. So we will just with the mouse uh, uh, select both of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, for sure we have to we have to use analog mm -hmm. analog um, presets because we are using analog strips. So and as usual you are already able to see in preview what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I would like to change this one to, to blue, immediately changed, okay. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, when I would like to, I can create more different uh, animations. Of so th this, is, this is a good example of uh, the difference between the digital and analog strip. Mm -hmm. With analog strip, you put one color on the whole segment and you cannot change individually each, each pixel, the color, mm -hmm. I mean, or the brightness for that mm -hmm. matter. So with digital, you can control each separately. What you have to do is to connect these to multiple dimmers if you want uh, multiple segments to have different colors, just as we have over mm -hmm. here. Uh, we have some effects, and uh, I want those. Yeah, I, want, I want to place the play those effects from the software. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, how can we do that? It's pretty easy. So you will select the the scene, mm -hmm. and uh, it will play if mm -hmm. you set properly your addresses. Okay. So we have to go to the hardware. Mm -hmm. As you can see, nothing happened. So software is playing something, mm -hmm. but nothing is visible as it's playing on the address, as we said, from 4 to uh, 6 and mm -hmm. 7 to 9. So four channels 4 to 6 are the first uh, dimmer and 7 to 9 is the second dimmer. Yeah. Okay. How we can, so, how we can change this? So you have uh, on the dimmer, once I would like to set Four. I have to set this one. So now this dimmer is using four, five, six channels. Four, five, six, and is it playing then the correct uh, strip animation? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the same as in a, a software preview. We can check. First strip is in the preview green. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how about the second? Second, Dimmer, second strip. We need to set uh, address to seven. Mm -hmm. So we will switch one. This is three, and this is seven. It's playing correctly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The second, second strip. Mm -hmm. Can you still use uh, live control? To yeah. change the to change the brightness because it's pretty bright for the top camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can see that all the controls are working properly, and uh, when I will change the the scene, you can see that it's changing properly. Do you know Vlado how to create an animation that would actually move, fade, or change, do something? Because these are static. Mm -hmm. So if you would have to create an animation that will be not static, but it, it will be changing from one color to another. Mm -hmm. So you can and you can only use analog colors. Mm -hmm. Yes, that are that are yeah. there. So you can create a video scene effect. Mm -hmm. There you can put whatever animation there is in the library or, or in the video scene. It's called palette. Mm -hmm. And we can check what it will, what will happen on the strips. Something will happen, however, not, not the very thing that you can see in the software. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when I would like to add video, take color effect. Mm -hmm. So even with this 
first effect or default uh, gradient. So you it's can see in the preview what's happening and yeah. how it looks on the strip. Can you try to add some colorful palette? I can edit this palette. Well, if you know how to edit it, that's yeah. Or that's I cool, but there are some mm -hmm. yeah. tools, <laughs> so it depends on what you would like to. But this will only put a static color on it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but choose some digital color, uh, digital effect so animation. I will go to digital, something with color. These are just black and white. Or maybe top. So you can choose which one you would like to. With these uh, color effects or video scenes, you can play uh, gradient on your analog strip. Thus, it will change. Uh, it will change color. It won't be only static. Mm -hmm. This is one way. Or you can create a show in the software, and there you can also. Uh, place your animations and chases effects so that it will be changing the colors on your analog strips. So you are not only limited with analog strips to a static color, but you can also play some basic uh, chases or gradients mm -hmm. probably. The uh, mm -hmm. question can be how long this animation can be? Mm, I'm not sure if there is any limit to this. Yeah, that's the point. that. If I'm preparing for some longer show, mm -hmm. I can prepare the animations for the whole show. Mm -hmm. So once show begins, I will just start it and doesn't matter because uh, I'm prepared for a whole show. Mm -hmm. If the scenario will, will work for uh, anything uh, other in show, my animations will fit. You are taking the DMX out that is on the front of the device and taking DMX to your uh, dimmers. Because mm -hmm. in most of the cases you will be working with dimmers. There are strips that are DMX mm -hmm. or that can take DMX signal in, so you don't need the dimmer, but with most cases you will be using some some sort of dimmer. Uh, it can yes. be question how many dimmers I can connect. There is this um, standard probably, which mm -hmm. says that uh, you can use 32, if I remember this correctly, 32 DMX devices in a row. So daisy chain them in a row. Mm -hmm.